a grenade shut down several streets this afternoon. About 30 minutes ago, the bomb squad x-rayed the grenade and found it to be live and dangerous. KXLY force Tanya Dahl is live in Port d'Alene. Tanya, what's the situation right now? Well, Robin, the bomb squad left a short time ago and they did find a live grenade, but luckily no one was hurt and Lakeside had to be shut down for at least three hours to traffic while police waited for the bomb squad to get here. It all started around 1.30 this afternoon when Coeur d'Alene police were called out to the downtown post office. A man talking to a relative over the phone said he'd found a grenade while helping clean out an elderly couple's basement. The man put the, put the grenade in his truck and decided to take it to police. And the relative told him to stop immediately. The man pulled into the post office and police showed up, but had to wait until the Spokane County bomb squad and members from Fairchild Air Force Base showed up to remove that device safely. And the Coeur d'Alene Police Department confirms it did turn out to be an older British style live grenade. And they want to warn the public about transporting dangerous devices like this. I just suggest that you leave it there. You can call local authorities. We can come check it out if we feel that there's a, a need that it's not a dud. And we may not even be able to determine that either. We might need to call some experts. And several businesses in the area had to be evacuated, including a daycare center. We're told that the police department asked them to move kids to the back of the building. Uh, the post office was also closed during this three hour time period. And North Idaho College actually has an adult education center. It's actually right over my shoulder. And they actually canceled night classes tonight for students. Reporting live in Coeur d'Alene, Tanya Dahl, KXLY4, HD News.